Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from KiwiKink77.com and today we are here to show you the official Android 5.0 Lollipop update on the Galaxy S5. Right now in the US it's only available on Verizon and Sprint should be coming to other carriers very soon. This is the Sprint variant of the Galaxy S5 so I want to go ahead and show off the update, uh, show you some changes so you'll see with Lollipop on the lock screen your notifications show up here. You'll see there's more, those little icons you swipe down actually and it will show you all of them. It acts just like your notification pull down bar. You can expand and contract your notifications etc if you have more. Uh, you can tap out of it. You'll see you have a shortcut to the dialer so you just swipe up from that shortcut and it opens or you have a shortcut to the camera application as well so opening that up uh, you'll see it took a little bit of time I don't know if it's any faster I think it might be a little bit faster opening the camera application if at all now with the Android 5.0 Lollipop update, you do have material design, which on the home screen you won't really notice very much just because all of the app icons look very similar. Home launcher, similar as well. Um, so, I mean, just overall, it still feels kind of the same when you're on the home launcher. You can swipe left and still get My Magazine if you'd like it. Uh, you can pinch in, very similar widgets, home screen settings, and wallpapers as well. Uh, but within some stock apps, you will notice a material design update, such as the dialer. You'll see that, uh, I guess, a lot more white with the material design. Uh, you'll see you have a nice little animation when you press on numbers as well. Um, you'll also notice updated animations throughout the operating system. Now you also notice in this home launcher there's no persistent search bar. Um, of course what's great about Android is you can install third party home launchers to fix that if you'd like that. Also the pull down bar is different. So as I said earlier, uh, your notifications do show up on your lock screen, but of course they showed it in the notification pull down bar. Um, you can swipe up, swipe down, but with stock Android, if you swipe down once, you can swipe down again to show your quick toggles, but with Samsung, they did it where it's just one swipe down and it shows both quick toggles and your S Finder, Quick Connect, and your notifications. Now, if you'd like to, you can actually swipe down with two fingers and it will show you all of your, I guess, quick toggles right here. So that's just something. You can't swipe down twice to get to those quick toggles. You can actually press this icon to get to them or use two fingers. So that's kind of what two fingers gets you. Uh, or you can obviously swipe horizontally to get to those. Now some other changes is volume. So you'll see volume uh, very similar here with the, the rocker you changing it. You can go down to vibrate. And then if you press down even more, you got silent mode, which is essentially just completely silent because it doesn't even show alarms, which is a little unfortunate uh, where you have indefinitely or for an X amount of hours. So if you go to, uh, let's see, if you go to four, one hour, for two hours, three, four, eight, so up to eight hours you can actually be on silent mode or you can just use the volume rockers to go back. Also, if you press and hold the power button, you have uh, options within stock, Andro stock Android. You do not have these options in Lollipop. You just have power off only, but you have airplane mode, restart, and emergency mode as well. Now also with Android 5.0 Lollipop comes Smart Lock where you can unlock the device via Bluetooth devices or I believe an updated face unlock, which I have a full review of. I'll link to that in the description. But anyways, uh, to turn on, it's actually kind of a pain to turn on smart lock so go to lock screen uh, you have to set a screen lock of course so I'm gonna set a pattern real quick and I'm gonna hit continue set a pattern um, I'm gonna set a backup password one two three four one two three four and there we go so you'll see if you want to show all content hide content done now with that set you have to go back you have to go find security so now find security and then go ahead and scroll down under advanced and you'll see trust agents and you're going to you're going to want to make sure smart lock is on right there and then go ahead and back out of it and down at the bottom of advanced you'll see a smart lock option unfortunately samsung actually got rid of the face unlock feature i can't find it anywhere so that's kind of unfortunate. If you do want to check it out, like I said, I'll link to it in the description of the video below, but you'll see in Smart Lock, you have trusted devices such as a smartwatch, a Bluetooth system in your car, NFC sticker, all that stuff um, to unlock your device. You can add trusted device, and then you can also add a trusted place. Now, another app that was updated to material design is the messaging app. You see, that's a little bit different. You have add priority centers. You can get rid of that in the settings. Um, you can hit up a compose button right down here, enter recipient. So if you wanted to enter a quick number, you can, and you say, hey, and this is uh, the keyword. I believe it's a little bit different. Um, it does have, it uh, looks like a little more space. It's not as compact, at least in my opinion. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm going to hit send. It's not going to send. I don't have uh, Sprint anymore, actually. But anyways, let's go ahead and go to the camera application. Nothing out of the ordinary. Like I said, I think it might open up just a little bit quicker, but very similar. Uh, there really, I don't think, is any update to it. You can take a quick picture right here. Um, 
shutter lags very quick so I mean it's very similar to how it was before I took a couple pictures earlier without it being super blurry of course so you'll see it's a quick picture I took still very good pictures shutter lag very little um, like I said it might open up the camera application a little bit more but that's about the only change I can notice now nothing too crazy different about the settings you'll see you go into sounds and notifications you can actually scroll down and you'll see application notifications you can kind of customize uh, what specific notifications each application sends you so if I go to email I can turn priority on or sensitive on so if I don't want it on the lock screen I can actually hide those specific app notifications now going back one thing I noticed going in the lock screen is pattern type I don't know if this was on there before it might have been but you can kind of change multicolor halftone morphing uh, just a little bit different classic so just I don't know if that was there on KitKat but it looks different to me and then finally you have the recent running apps button it has been updated you'll see a little bit different feels smoother than it was on that test build that I was running earlier uh, so it's flipping through it's it's pretty quick if you want to quickly multitask you can uh, if you go to let's say I go to Chrome here and I wanted to back out of it, go back to the camera application, it'll load that up, back out of it. If I press this button again, you see that was kind of slow actually after I opened the camera application. Go to settings, um, you'll have to comment on how battery life and performance is. I've, I've only used this for this morning, so nothing too different. Also, another update with Lollipop, if I go to, let's say for example, I want to go to droidlife.com. It will change the status bar a little bit pink. It'll also change the Chrome app pink as well. Just a little bit different. You'll see the color of that status bar. Watch when I go home. It'll get rid of that pink tint. And you'll see, there it goes. So whatever, I guess, app is open or whatever specific tint, it'll kind of tint that status bar up at the top. But anyways, that's it. Android 5.0 Lollipop on your Galaxy S5. Uh, hopefully this review helped. If it did, please give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. You follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. Uh, I'll be sure to do a video on how to root it as soon as it becomes available. I believe it is right now, so I might be able to do that today. This quick Easter egg right here. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.